Hi guys, this week we're looking at the cause and effect text structure that's used in informational texts. So cause and effect, the cause is a reason why something happened and the effect is a result of what happened. So for example, if people are exposed to germs, so they don't wash their hands um, or they uh, touch a lot of things that are exposed to germs, or if people don't dress appropriately for weather. So for example, if I'm wearing um, a swimsuit in snow, then the effect of those things would be that people get sick. Because of those two things, people get sick. Similarly, in the 60s, there were lots of karate movies. The effect of all of these karate movies in the 60s was or were that there were many karate schools that were opened. Nunchuck sales increased by 400% and head injuries cases went up as well, probably from a lot of people trying to do karate at home. So those are the effects of the cause of having lots of, of karate movies in the 60s. So that's basically what cause and effect is. It's one thing, something that happens, whether it's a character's actions or it's an event, like maybe um, a natural disaster, anything like that, that then has an effect on society or people or something else. So it's just one thing that causes another thing, which is the effect. So we have three examples here. So for example, number one is Tim forgot his math book, so he was unable to complete his homework. I want you to look at these three examples and I want you to write what you think the cause and effect is for each of them. So in the Padlet, please make sure to put your name as a title because I already know what week it is if you put it under the correct column. So for under week seven, I want you to put your name as a title and then number one, what the cause is and what the effect is. Number two, what the cause is, what the effect is. And number three, what the cause is and the effect. So I look forward to seeing your answers and I'll see you next week.